This was no time to sail out when we consulted the forecast. Little would stop the little cargo that could. It was being loaded up to head out into the fierce sea. I made a new friend here named Jan from Belgium. He was preparing to cross the ocean soon. These sailors here seemed to have some problems coming in. And they were quickly attended to by the Marina Mandelo staff. The fierce winds may have had something to do with their assisted mooring. It had been blowing 30 knots and up for almost two weeks, but eventually it did calm down. And the guys from Marina Dacas took advantage of some new toys to play with as well as with Natasha, who can't help herself to play with good-looking boy toys. As for me, I couldn't help myself but going to hang out in Bella Vista neighborhood. One of Cape Verde's natural resources is football players. They're Brazil's little brother when it comes to football. And there, I bumped into one of Mandela's most famous football players. This is Fernando Maria Neves, better known as Nando. He played internationally for more than a decade. Voted best player of the year in 2006 in a Tunisia's Monastir club then went on to play on several teams in Europe. This is my mother, Maria, Maria de Jesus, Angola. Now retired, Nando is back home with his family, which he supports in many ways, including his father, who recently suffered a stroke. He has come back and bought a building across the street from his mom. And this is your sister. Is this my mother? Always. Always. <laughs> he invited us to celebrate January birthdays in his family. Mine happened to be the same as one of his brothers, January 13th, which is also a holiday here. So for me, in a way, I became part of the family. Out of nine brothers and sisters Maria raised, Nando's the one who became internationally successful. More than three quarters of Cape Verdeans live and work outside the country. And this is one of Cape Verde's great natural resources, as they bring much income to the tiny country. An estimated 30% of the nation's income is brought back and invested in property and businesses. Yeah, you say that you want me. Nando's mother, married, is obviously very proud of her son. C'est ma vie. That's your life. All, always, this woman is my life. I never change this life. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> no apologies, no. And he's eternally grateful to her. Nando's brother-in-law is cooking up fried fish to go with the rice that Maria made. The party is taking place in a spot they are renovating to host future family get-togethers. Of course, grog is on the menu also. And then another most popular pastime besides football is practice. Raindrops falling down my face, aching for you 
touch again Maybe it will come a sunny day A day when I forget you Here, other brother-in-law Sydney is showered with some kind of sisterly affection. It's almost time to go. Winds are still strong, but they soon will die down some so we can sail out again. While doing some final buys before heading out, I called my friend Larissa to say hello. She happened to be in the neighborhood and asked me and Nat to come by. This time Sonia was celebrating with her family. They needed some wine so they went down to the Bar Novo for a taste. Stars seemed to align themselves for this day as the girls were all dressed to match. This is Rua Matijim, one of Mandela's most infamous streets, for diverse reasons which I'll let you guess. And just past this door, the party is on. And as in many cases, the best of the house parties happen here, in the kitchen. Larissa cooked up garlic prawns, rice, and fresh cut fries. And as well, Larissa has a way of spicing up the ambience with pure picante personality. <laughs> this is as intimate Cape Verdean life as we can get. Hope you'll enjoy this little slice of life here in Mandelo as much as Natasha is. This is one of Sonia's brothers, Fernando, a big man indeed, but Nat is really impressed with his perfect teeth, as we are with Edeline's beautiful smile. And a sweet wine? Well, that's good too. And Nat's sweet dance partner is pretty good for the afternoon. Okay, now it's time to go, but not quite yet. In order to check out of one island to go to another, sailors need to get their ship's papers from the police. Well, the police was closed because of a holiday, so we had to wait and take advantage of one more day with friends in Mandelo, whom wanted to come over for a swim.
Finally, the day of departure is today. A calm day. I got my papers and took a quick stroll to see the latest developments in Mandelo Bay. Nigerian investors are said to be building a new project on the beach. A recording studio set on the water, rumored to be headed by producer-musician Akon. As well, they bought the newly renovated Pont d'Agua Hotel and a mansion up on the hills. The project is another example of economic interest in Cape Verde, as well as in cultural interest under the watchful eye of legendary singer Cesaria Evora. And finally, yes, we are off. We bid au revoir to our Belgian friends, Adrian and Zoe, whom we had some very interesting fun with. We will never forget those two. And as well as Jan, also Belgian, who will soon be crossing the Atlantic like Adrian and Zoe, once they have sorted their vessels. As for Carlos, Nat and me, it was us who were heading out first on the late afternoon, perfect for sailing. And it was an emotional departure, especially for one of us, Carlos. He has decided to leave Mandelo permanently. He spent more than five years in that city and had grown attached to it and its people, as me and Natasha have. But for Carlos, it was time to turn the page and to begin a new chapter in his life. As for me and Nat, it's also time to begin a new chapter and new episodes. Hey.